Hello and welcome back to Power Morphcon. I'm here with the absolute amazing Mike. Hello, Mike. Hi, Mike. Hi. How are you doing? It's fine. It's the, it's a, we've met previously, but this is the first time we've talked on life. camera. Yes. Yes. Yeah, we talked a lot on Twitter and what would you yep. do is... So, how are you doing? How are you finding the com? Uh, I'm loving it. Yeah, my second PMC. Uh, I don't know. I, I always love meeting other people, meeting other rangers, seeing old friends, uh, seeing old rangers. So it's a, a, a good time. Yeah, that's good. It's my multiple, I don't know. But I love it and I'm glad you're here. Yeah. So I have some questions for you that sure. I wrote out. So RPM was yes. the darker series compared to most ones. What did you think about RPM? Uh, in regard to it being yeah. the darkest? Um, yeah, so at the time, you know, I, I hadn't seen a lot of previous Power Rangers, so I didn't know it was the darkest at the time, but now knowing about it, uh, it seems like a lot of uh, fans enjoy it because of that difference, actually, that it was darker and more adult. And um, so how I feel about it, I think it's good because as long as fans enjoy that being uh, kind of uh, the reason for it being different and that appealed to them, then I'm all for that for sure. Yeah. So. Uh, it was one of my favorite series because it just it was something different about it. Yeah. Um, and as it was being the last one, effectively at the time, it was it was a great show. Yeah. So I I'm was glad. I was sad when your character got deleted. I was like, no. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. It was spoiler alert. <laughs> if, if no one's seen it by now, I'd be very surprised. <laughs> <laughs> they win. <laughs> so, um, what made you audition for the role, and what went through your mind when you actually got it? Um, I've always I always want I. Growing up in New Zealand where Power Rangers filmed, I knew that Power Rangers was shooting uh, there and so I'd always wanted to work on, on it. Um, what made me audition? Uh, I'd always wanted to, like I said, I always want to work on it and just being an actor, it's, it's, it's I don't know, it's, it's just this kind of like big thing that you want to <laughs> be on like that. It was shooting in your country, right in your city right there and so um, yeah, I definitely had heard of it and definitely was aware of it and definitely wanted to be on it when I eventually got it. Uh, I mean, I was over the moon, really. Yeah. I was, yeah, ecstatic, really. Yeah, as you, one I could imagine yeah. av after having wanted to, you know, book it. Oh, nice. Were you like, when you got that call saying, Mike, you're the new ranger, were you walking anywhere? Were you at home or...? Uh, I believe I was, uh, like, just on my bed, I think. I might have just been lying on my bed kind of thing. Um, and... Yeah, I think that's where it was, I, I believe. Yeah, 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 from memory. It was a, it was a long time ago, <laughs> so. So, uh, what sort of hijinks do you get to one set? I didn't really get into any hijinks, really. The, uh, not really. Uh, I mean, I, to I, I took like tup plastic Tupperware to get the, try to take some of the catered food home, but that's yeah. not really, I mean, that's as hijinksy <laughs> as it got, not really. Yeah, oh, no. <laughs> Um, were they in like pranks? That was it? Or? Not really. No, no. I mean, oh no, there was one actually. No, I probably shouldn't say. Yeah. Um, okay, there was one. Yeah, so in the camper, like when Dylan, I'm oh, sorry, uh, Dan Ewing was sleeping, uh, me and Ika like played com on the laptop and put it next to his face so when he woke, woke up he could see it. I'm not gonna say what it is. <laughs> oh, I know what it is. Okay, I've seen okay. it. Did, did he like it, or did he? Like, oh, or did he? Uh, he loved it. You know, Dan Ewing. He loves. It. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Don't go on it, kids. Don't go on it. Okay. Um, so you're working on things at Ten Candles. What is? Yes. Uh, what is that? I've ten, not heard about it. Yeah. So Ten Candles is essentially a horror genre, uh, improvised collaborative storytelling. It's kind of using the Ten Candles system, which is like a tabletop RPG, yeah. and uh, every Monday night. I do it at a Twitch channel, mm. live stream, live stream it, uh, where we uh, yeah essentially go through a ten candle uh, game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I've seen you post about it, but not actually checked it out. What the yet. hell? Then what am I doing this? Stand Fine, the mic. <laughs> Fine. So, talking about Twitch, yeah. you're streaming a lot at home now, aren't you? Yes, yes. I, I so a couple of months ago, I started a, a Twitch uh, gaming channel, having yeah. a lot of fun with it. Yeah. Uh, I can't ever imagine why I didn't do it sooner. I, I have like a full in love. I think I'll stream for the rest of my life. Like I hope yeah. so. We'll see. Yeah. But I mean, I, it feels like I, I just love it. Yeah. Um, cool. Good so, people. with you now twitching, I racked my brain yeah. twitching, yeah. and I thought, hmm, what could you put in behind that would be unique and no one's ever done? So I got you this. No, this is really, this is really, really British. How open that one? I don't know what to do with this. 
Oh. <laughs> it, I sat there and I was like, this would be really random. I it's, don't understand what this is. You'll have to explain okay, the, the so reference. Okay, so basically, many people in England will know that this is a sort of like a commemorative plate. Okay. Um, and then you just literally, it's just every single home has one. And now your home has one too. Why? Why do they have? Why do every home have one? Because I, I have no. It was something like back in the old days that these used to have. Yeah. So I thought that would be quite nice. Something really random. Okay. Thanks. It's super <laughs> random. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Uh, nice. Nice. So uh, yeah, I guess I can use it as. Uh, you can put your. What do, what do people put they, they, for though? They, I don't know what to do. They like, just literally tell just, me how to use it. Like so I've got it. What's, what, the, what's the instruction manual? There is. Well, basically, it's on the back. No. Uh, so basically, you just put it on a plate. That's it. You put it on display. You can put your tea on it if you want, or your coffee, oh, or okay. a drink. So, uh, so it's a regular plate. Yeah. Okay. But it's more like a commemorative plate that you put on the side, and you, it's just for show. Okay, but. Do you have to do it like that, or can you just use it for plate you can, for things? You can use it for whatever you want, basically. Wow, okay, so, so it is a regular plate. It is kind of, yeah. Okay, so okay, no, it's not like a special plate, but no. it's got, okay. Kind of a mix, it depends what you want to do with it. But, it's all the way from England, it's a special design one. Wow, real, okay, cool, very cool, yes. Yeah, so. Nice, I've got, I'm British. See? British. British. So now no one will give you that anything like that. So I want to be the first. Okay. And if they do copy me, I'll say Mark yeah. Smith gave one. Sorry, your your commemorative plate sucks. Exactly. That's it. <laughs> I'm British. Yeah. So thank th you. Uh, thank you, thank you very much. Um, it's been really nice talking to you. Great talking to you. Uh, cool. Thank um, you for the plate. Oh, no problem. Thank you. Thank you. So, thank you thank I'm going to send you some more "What would you do?" questions on Twitter. Say again. So I'm going to send you some more "What would you do?" questions on Twitter. I would love to answer them. Awesome. Cool. Well, thank you very much, guys, and thanks for watching. And I'll see you in a bit.